my parents divorced, and both of them went into same-sex relationships. I remember this one particular pride parade, there were all of these Christians holding up signs, saying God hates you, spraying water and urine over everyone. And my mom said they're Christians, and Christians hate gay people. One of the reasons Christians get stuck on the issue of homosexuality is we've abstracted it out from the context of the gospel. We're all in a place where the culture is dramatically shifting and we have a tremendous fear of the unknown. The church has done a poor job in representing what Christians truly believe. Some churches can be big on that we know what to believe but are just not very welcoming. Other churches can be we deeply empathetic but would be quite unclear on what they believed. We don't have to allow culture to impact our view of Jesus. We can hold firm to our biblical convictions and yet still love people at the same time. Around 11 years old is when I can recall attraction towards somebody of the same sex. I was beginning to form a, a deep attachment to guys rather than to girls. I feel like God is calling me to live for Him. I called my girlfriend. It's like, I love you, but I know I can't be with you. That's the first time I listened and felt compassion that my brother, now my sister, is really suffering. There's families that are throwing their kids out of their homes and it's because they're LGBT. <laughs> That's just not okay. The problem is not Christian extremism. The solution would be Christian extremism. If we were extreme about being the friend of sinners like Jesus was, the world would be a far better place. What is their name? Who are they? What do they like to do? How about I give them the same hope that I rest in every day? If I am able to love Carly in a way that is pleasing to the Lord, that's the track I want to be on. Without the cross leading front and center, it's going to look like hate. We must hold the truth of God's Word also alongside His mercy. What would it look like in our communities, in our relationships, if we were people who valued messy grace? Because God loves messy people, so should we.